Men's clothes. Dialogue 1. Good morning. I'm looking for a tie. Our ties are over here next to coats and jackets. May I see these ties? Yes, certainly. Here's a nice looking one. A special color of Hawaii. Yes, it is attractive. But I think it's a little too loud. Let me see that gray and blue one. This one? Yes, that's the one. It's very nice. I'll take it. Okay. Do you need packing? No, it's just for myself. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? I want a leather jacket. What color did you have in mind? Khaki green. What size, please? Size 40. Let's see. Yes, here's a size 40. Would you like to try it on? Yes, please. This is a little too big. Do you have something smaller? Sure. Try this size 39. Yes, this fits very well. I'll take it. It'll be 15% off the price. You've got a good deal. That is good. Thank you. Shoes Dialogue 1 Can I help you? I'm looking for a pair of black shoes. What size do you want? Size 9. I'm afraid we haven't got any black shoes in that size at the moment, but we have got brown ones. Hmm, that is fine too. What about that pair over there? Reasonable. Can I try them on? Certainly. Here is the shoe lifter. Thank you. Hmm. They seem a little bit tight. Here is a larger size. Dialogue 2 What can I do for you, sir? I like some leather shoes. Okay, what's your size? I don't know American sizes. No problem. Put your foot here. Let me see. Yes, you're a six. Just a moment, please. Here you are. These are very comfortable. Try these on. Yes, they're very nice. But I want slip-ons. How about these? They don't have laces. Try them. Fine. I'll take these. Duty-free goods. Dialogue 1 How do we go about purchasing things in this catalog? You can order them here on the plane or visit one of the duty-free shops in the airport when we land. How much is this Remy Martin VSOP? It's $45. It's our special offer today. Okay, I'd like five bottles. Sorry, there's a limit on some of the items. You are limited to purchase only three bottles of wine or liquor. Well, let me have three. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon. Can I help you? I'd like to get something duty-free here. Okay, sir. Would you please show me your passport and your air ticket? Sure, here you are. Do you know how much liquor I'm allowed to take away from America? Up to two bottles per person. Okay, I will take these two. You will receive our check for duty exemption in about two months. Can I take those items now? Sorry, you can't. We will send them to the airport. Room service. Dialogue 1. What time do you begin your service in the morning? 
We usually start from 7. But if you have special needs, you can tell the front desk the night before. Oh, but... Or you can also tell me now. We'll send your food over at your requested time. Very good. Could you send two American breakfasts to our room at 6.30 tomorrow morning? We must leave the hotel before 7 o'clock. No problem. So, room 1005, two American breakfasts, 6.30 tomorrow morning. That's right. Dialogue 2 Room service, may I help you? Can I still get something to eat at this time of night? What would you like? I'll have a sandwich and a hot chocolate. What kind of sandwich would you like? We have steak, cheese, ham, salami, tuna, chicken. I'll take the tuna, please. No problem, sir. May I have your name and your room number? This is Bob Jackson, room 801. Good. I'll be up in a couple of minutes. Morning call service. Dialogue 1. Will you do me a favor, miss? Certainly, sir. I wonder if your hotel has the morning call service. Yes, sir. Would you like a morning call? Yes. I must get up earlier tomorrow. At what time do you want me to call you up, sir? At 6 sharp tomorrow morning, please. By phone or by knocking at the door? By phone. Okay. I'll tell the operator to call you up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Anything else I can do for you? No, thanks. Dialogue 2 Room service, can I help you? I'm going to New York early tomorrow morning, so I would like to request an early morning call. No problem. At what time would you like us to call you tomorrow morning? At 6 sharp tomorrow morning, please. By phone or by knocking at the door? By knocking at the door. I usually have a deep sleep. Okay. So we will wake you up at 6 tomorrow morning. Housekeeping Dialogue 1 Housekeeping, may I clean your room now, madam? Come in, please. Good morning, madam. Good morning. What about tidying up a bit in the bathroom? We've had a bath and it's quite a mess. Okay, I clean the toilet bowl, wash basin, and tub. Then put some fresh towels there. And we need two more pairs of bath slippers. All right. I get off at 10.30 a.m but I will tell the daytime attendant to send them up. Thank you. And the children have just played on the bed, so please change our sheets and pillowcases. No problem. I will tidy it up. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Housekeeping, may I come in? Oh, sorry. I haven't even got up yet. When would you like me to do your room? Could you come back in an hour? I'm sorry to disturb you. If you need clean your room, please call DTS or HSKP or hang the Make Up the Room card. I will, thank you. Maintenance Service Dialogue 1 Is this the maintenance department? This is room 403. Yes, what is it, sir? The TV set in my room doesn't work. Have you checked the plug, 
They get pulled out sometimes. Yes, I checked that. And this is the second time that it hasn't worked. I'm sorry. I'll send someone right up to have a check. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Room service, may I help you? This is from room 208. I'm afraid that the heating system doesn't work. It's very cold here. Have you switched it on the radiator? Yes, I have switched it on for almost half an hour. The room is still very cold. We're terribly sorry for that. We'll send our staff to fix it now. Or do you want to change your room? I prefer not to move first. Okay. Is it convenient for us to come now? Yes, please. Planning for a trip. Dialogue 1 Good morning. How can I help you? A friend and I are planning a trip to visit Europe. And I need some information on airline flights. I see. Are you interested in taking a tour? No, thanks. We've determined to go on our own. What countries do you want to see? We'd like to visit Germany and France. No problem. You can fly in and out of Berlin from here. Then you can take a train in Europe. It sounds so easy. It is. Here, I'll give you a computer printout of all the flights. Anything else? Not just now. I would like to talk this over with my friend first. Of course. Just take your time. See you next time. Thanks. Bye. Dialogue 2 I'd like to take a sightseeing tour. Where do you want to go? I haven't decided yet. Do you know which tourist trail is the best for this season? Well, it depends. For a short term or a long term? A short term. Only two days. Okay, then I recommend you to go to Kukurbit Island for sightseeing. Why go there? Well, the weather is cool there at this time, as it's a northern city on the sea. And it is just five hours' ride from here if you go by train. Most of all, the sea there is very clear, and there's an ancient city. Oh, it sounds good. I'm going to make a plan for there. Making Enquiries Dialogue 1 What would you like to know? Could you tell me the schedule? Let me go get it. How long is the tour? It lasts for two hours. What's the difference between these tours? This one includes dinners. Can I take the first part of the tour only? I'm afraid it's a whole day tour. Dialogue 2 How do you do? May I help you? Can you recommend a sightseeing route for us? Sure, we have all kinds of routes. What kinds of places would you like to visit? Las Vegas and the Grand Canyon. We hope to stay there for three days. Can you help us book a better hotel? Sure. We happen to have a group leaving for the Caesar Hotel tomorrow, which is right downtown, and we have 12 people, all foreigners. There's no Chinese interpreter. They'll be gathering at the front door and leaving at 8 in the morning. Would that work? All right. May I know how much this trip costs? $259 per person. Applying for a visa.
Dialogue 1 Good morning, sir. I'm Chen Hong. Good morning. You're planning to visit your husband in the United States, aren't you? Yes, sir. Is your husband currently a student there? No, he is a visiting scholar. May I have a look at your notarized marriage certificate? And do you have some photos of your wedding ceremony? Yes, here you are. Looking at the photos. What a perfect match! Is this your first time to go abroad? I went to Los Angeles on business two years ago, and I also traveled around some other cities in the United States. How long are you going to stay there this time? Less than three months. Okay. Now please take the slip to the next window to pay a fee and come back to pick up your passport this afternoon. I hope you'll have an enjoyable trip in the United States. Thank you very much. Dialogue 2 I'd like to apply for a visa. Do you have any relatives in America? Yes, my uncle is in America. Where does your uncle reside? His home is in New York. What's your uncle's profession? He is a doctor. Please give me your application paper. Okay, here you are. We will inform you when we give the result after three days. Booking air tickets. Dialogue 1 I'd like to book a flight to Beijing, please. Certainly, sir. What date? November 2nd, please. Single or return? i like a direct flight, if possible. Sure. Which class do you want? Economy class will be fine. May I have your name, please? Yes. My name is Rod Moss. Please call us and confirm your ticket around October 29th. Thank you. You're welcome. Dialogue 2 Is there a flight to New York on Thursday? Sorry, we have just sold out all the tickets for Thursday. When is the next flight available? The earliest I can get you to New York is on Sunday. Could you put me on the waiting list for the flight to New York on Thursday? Okay. Will you leave your name and telephone number, please? My name is Li Lin. My telephone number is 573-6628. Okay. I'll call you if there is a cancellation. Thank you very much. Electronic Products Dialogue 1 Good morning. Can I help you? I want an iPod, please. What about this one? It's handy and only $60. Do you have a cheaper one? Have a look at this one. It's only $50. How do I switch it on? Press the play button on top and turn up the volume knob. I see. It sounds very good. I'll take it. Dialogue 2 Hello, could you show me that Canon autofocus camera? Okay, here you are. How much does it cost? $169. It's too much. Can you reduce the price? It depends. How many do you want? I will buy three if you can give me a lower price. Wait a minute. I'll ask our manager. Okay. If you buy three, we can reduce the price to 150. Well, I will take three.
Leatherware. Dialogue 1. I'm looking for a handbag as a gift. We just received a shipment of several different styles handbags. Would you show me the white handbag? Here you are. You're in luck. This is the only one left. White is popular this season. Yes, I believe it is. But there is a stain here. We have something that might interest you. Oh, anything better? Look at this one. What do you like it? Wow, I have never seen such a nice handbag. I'll take this one. Let me ring this up for you at the register. Dialogue 2 Are you being attended to, madam? Well, I'm just looking for something for my husband. What would you recommend? Would you please come over here, madam? I'd like to show you some fancy waistband. They are made of the leather of kangaroos and crocodiles. Oh, they look so elegant. I like the light brown one. May I have a look at it? Sure. It is the latest fashion. Its simple style makes it easier to go with different clothes. That's it. I think he will be satisfied to have it. Cosmetics Dialogue 1 What can I do for you, sir? Yes, it's my first visit here. I need to get my fiancé some Chanel. Please look at these. All of these are from Chanel. Wow! Too many to choose. I recommend you this. The smell is nice. Is it a typical Paris perfume? Yes, this kind of perfume is elegant in smell, and the fragrance lasts long. Okay, could you get me the 1.7 ounce bottle? That will be my pleasure. I'll wrap the perfume up in a gift box for you too. Thank you for your consideration. Dialogue 2 I'm looking for some blusher. Do you have some in peach rose? Oh, yes, I have two left. Here you are. This is a beautiful color. It has been very popular blush this season. Great, I'll take this one. Do you need anything else? No, thank you. Women's clothes. Dialogue 1 Can I help you, ma'am? Yes, I want to buy a dress. What about this kind of dress in Chanel? It's one of our biggest sellers. It looks nice. Do you have this in size 6? Sorry, it's one size that fits all, but I think it fits you. Let me see. Do you think a cream one will fit me? Well, the cream one is beautiful indeed but I think the black one will suit you better. Really? Please get it for me. Follow me. I'll take you to the fitting room. If you need any help, let me know. I'll be sure to. Dialogue 2 Do you have any gowns for about $50? Yes, we do have some new arrivals that may interest you. I'm looking for something special. Would you like this design in red? It's on sale now. The gown feels very well. How much is it? $45. Is this made of pure silk? Yes, it is. It's velvety and brilliant. Is it washable? Yes, it is. But you have to be careful. But I don't like the color. How about the lavender one? Good. May I try it on? Certainly. Offline service.
Dialogue One. Hello, Mr. Wang. Yes. What is the matter? Oh, you have a message note here. Who's it from? A Mr. Li. He said he's your friend in New York, and he wanted you to call him back as soon as possible. Let me see. Oh, it's Tom. Did he say anything else? No, nothing else. All right. Thank you very much. Dialogue two. This is Johnson in room two eighteen. Yes, Mr. Johnson. Any messages for me? Just a moment, sir. Yes, Mr. Johnson. There's a message for you. Who is it from? It's from John Simmons. S I M M O N S. Will you read it to me, please? He said, "I will come to your hotel tomorrow afternoon at three." What time did Mr. Simmons call? Did he leave his phone number? At ten thirty this morning. His home phone number is five seven one six two three two two. Is there anything else, sir? No, thank you. Goodbye. Barber service. Dialogue one. Good morning, sir. I'm the top stylist here. Take a seat, please. Thank you. I want a haircut, please. Very well. And how would you like your haircut, sir? Just a trim, and cut the sides fairly short, but not so much at the back. Nothing off the top. Well, a little off the top. How about the front? Leave the front as it is. Okay. Do you want me to trim your mustache? Yes, please. Dialogue two. What would you like? Permanent wave, cold wave, or washed and dressed? A shampoo and set, please. Would you like a new hairstyle, or just keep it the way you have it now? I'm ready for a new hairdo. Do you have any suggestions? Perhaps you should go even shorter. I'll leave it up to you. Like I said, I'm ready for a change. I've had it this way for so long, and I'm getting tired of it. Okay, you should also get highlights put in. I'm worried it will make my hair look unnatural. No, no, that would be very subtle. Making complaints. Dialogue one. Operator. Yes, may I help you? I've been trying to get through to the front desk for the last five minutes. Their line is always busy. Why did it take so long? I'm very sorry to hear that, sir. During peak hours, the line is often engaged. Shall I ask them to call you back when the line is free? Thank you. Dialogue two. Could I see the manager, please? I have a complaint. Can I help you, madam? Yes, I checked in your hotel on Wednesday. During my staying here, something made me feel uncomfortable. I'm all ears. First, when I checked in, the receptionist complained that I didn't make a reservation. But is it necessary to make a reservation for each time? No, it's not necessary. Second, in the guest room, some facilities had problems. Some lights couldn't turn on, and there is no hot water in the washroom, and TV channels are too limited. I'm sorry to hear that. The last, the service for guest room was too slow, and the staff was in a bad service attitude. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. I'll attend to it immediately. Checking out.
Dialogue 1 I would like to pay the bill. I'll be right with you, Mr. House. Have you made any long-distance calls, please? Yes, last night to Rome. How would you like to take care of it? Can I pay my bill with a traveler's check? I'm sorry, sir. We only accept RMB or a credit card. That being the case, I'll pay with American Express. Of course, sir. If you would just check the additional charges and sign, that will be everything. Everything seems to be in order. Here is your receipt. We hope you will stay with us again. Dialogue 2 Good morning. We'd like to check out now, please. May I have your room number, please? Certainly. This is room 501. We'll send someone up to help you with your luggage right away. Could you tell me which is better to go to the airport, by bus or by taxi? I recommend a taxi if you are in a hurry. How long does it take to the airport by taxi? About half an hour. Can you call a taxi for me? Okay, please wait a minute. Confirming the ticket. Dialogue 1 Pan American, can I help you? Hello, I'd like to confirm my flight. May I have your flight number, please? Yes, it's number 212, leaving New York at 9 o'clock in the morning on May 3rd. Oh, yes, that is our regular flight to Paris. What's your name, please? My name is Li Jian. L-I-J-I-A-N. Yes, here we are. You are flying economy class, aren't you? Oh, yes. Okay. Your ticket is in order now. Mr. Lee, thank you for calling to confirm. Dialogue 2 Hello, Pan American. Hello, I'd like to confirm my flight. May I have your flight number, please? Yes, it's flight number 007, leaving San Francisco at 10 o'clock in the evening on April 4th. You're flying economy class, is that right? Oh, no, I think there must be some mistakes. I'm sure I made a reservation for a first-class ticket. I can change your ticket if you like. Oh, good. It's such a long flight, and the first-class seats would be more comfortable. Thank you for calling to reconfirm. Changing the flight number. Dialogue 1. I'd like to change my flight to Shanghai, please. Yes, flight number and date, please. Flight 1, departing on April 2nd from Los Angeles. April 2nd, Flight 1. And what's your name? Zhang Hong. I'll spell out the last name for you. Z-H-A-N-G. Thank you. What flight and which day would you like to change to? Still Flight 1, April 5th. Okay, you have changed your flight. Please recognize it again. Flight 1, April 5th to Shanghai. Dialogue 2 United Airlines, may I help you? Yes, I've made a reservation on your flight number 626, departing for Honolulu on October 6th at 7.30 in the evening and I'd like to change my reservation if possible. May I see your ticket? Yes, here you are. What flight would you like to change to? Flight 529, leaving on October 8th at 1 in the afternoon. How about your destination? 
Do you want to change it too? No, I won't change my destination. Just a moment, please. I'll check it. Sorry, miss. All seats are taken on the flight. What about October 10? Let me check. You're lucky. We have only one seat available on that flight. And now it's yours. Packing up. Dialogue 1 Don't forget to bring our passports and some extra cash. We'll also need our driver's license if we plan to rent a car. Got it. I'm taking a couple of dresses for formal occasions. You should take your dark suit. I'll wear that suit on the plane to save space. We should take along some pills just in case you get airsick. Oh, man. Look at this suitcase. It's falling apart. I need a new one. I'm taking along a duffel bag for bringing back anything we buy on the trip. How about umbrellas and raincoats? No, we can buy them there if we need that. Dialogue 2 Make sure your certificates are taken. It is useful when you are on a tour. Which certificate do you think I must take with me? Have you taken your ID card? Of course. Where did you put it? I put it in the big red bag. Why don't you take your certificate of soldier? Well, I forgot it. Have you bought a map of the place you are going to visit? No, not yet. I will go to buy at once. Flight delay. Dialogue 1 Rats, we got up at the crack of dawn just to end up sitting around waiting. Time will fly. How will we know when our flight is ready to board? We'll hear an announcement over the loudspeaker. I think I'll nod off for a few minutes. Don't worry, I'll wake you up. By the way, did you notice which way our boarding gate is? You are such a worrywart. I know where the gate is. Now go to sleep. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, when do we arrive in Paris? We are due in Paris at 7.30 p.m. local time, but we're going to London as the weather in Paris is bad. How long are we to stop in London? It's hard to say, perhaps two hours. Is there anything wrong, sir? You know, we are to catch CA 932 at 9.30 in Paris. We're afraid that we might miss the flight as the result of the delay. If we miss the flight, we will have to stay one more day in Paris, waiting for the next flight. Can you do anything for us? I'm sorry. The only thing we can do is to contact CAAC office in Paris when we get there. Vienna Dialogue 1 Excuse me, I'm a tourist from China. I want to enrich my musical knowledge during the trip to Vienna. Can you give me some suggestions? My pleasure. Vienna is a city of music. You might hear Mozart, Schubert, Beethoven, Strauss, or Haydn at an opera house a church, or an open-air performance. I'm a fan of Mozart. You've landed in the right city. You'll not only be able to hear his music in the concert halls, but also visit the places in which he lived and worked. Mozart Memorial is near here, right? Yes, it's not very far from here. 
You just walk along the street, turn right at the corner, then walk two blocks, and you will not miss it. Dialogue two. Darling, tickets for the state opera aren't available until Friday. It's a pity. We will have left on Friday. How about the Volksoper? I heard that it also features operettas, musicals, and ballets. Okay, let me try. Oh shit! Tickets have been fully reserved in advance. I know the city hall hosts free concerts in summer. Why not go there to have a try? Okay, but before the concert, we still have time. We can go up to the top of the Danube Tower to see a panorama. Great, good idea. That will be a more elevated impression of the city. Cairo. Dialogue one. Why did ancient Egyptians call Cairo mother of the cities? Because it is the largest city in Egypt and also in the Arab dome. And why is Cairo named City of Towers? Because there are many minarets. What should I see in Cairo? Well, the museum, Sultan Hassan Mosque, and Madrasa, Citadel of Saladin, the Tower of Cairo, and the world-known pyramids. It said that the pyramids of Giza is really something. Yes, you better take a look at that. Dialogue two. Look, that's the Great Pyramid. Oh yes, it looks very high. It's about one hundred thirty-seven meters high. How long are the sides? They are two hundred thirty meters. It's incredible. How old is it? It's nearly four thousand five hundred years old. Jewelry. Dialogue one. May I help you find something, sir? I'm looking for a ring. Tell me a little bit about what you want. We have all shapes, sizes, qualities, and price ranges. Well, my price range is three thousand dollars to five thousand dollars. I'm looking for a marquise cut on a wide band. You just have a good taste. Let me show you what we have. I like to take a look around some more. Okay, take your time. And if you have any other questions, just call me. Dialogue two. Can I be of any assistance to you, madam? Please show me this pearl necklace. Yes, here it is. Cultured pearls. Yes. Oh, I like it. They are just beautiful. I'll buy it. Today is just weekend, and all the jewelry is on sale. That's great. How much is this one? One thousand dollars. Is it tax free? Yes, for tourists. I'll take it. Then I'll wrap it for you. Artworks. Dialogue one. Good afternoon, sir. Could I be of any service? Good afternoon. I like to buy a cloisonne vase. Yes, sir. Just over there. I like a medium-sized cloisonne vase with a light blue background. How do you like this one? The background is pale blue with traditional Chinese paintings of mountains and rivers. It's gorgeous. How much is it? One hundred and fifty yuan. That is too much. Can you come down a little bit? I can give you a twenty percent discount. I will take it, 
if you can take 50 yarn off the price. All right, you can have it at this price. This price is reasonable. I will take it. Here is the money. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Can I help you? I want to get this reproduction of Mona Lisa. How much is it? The marked price is 700 yuan. That's too much. I'll take it if you give me a 50% discount. Well, I can just take 100 yuan off the price. All right, I will take it. Could you mount it for me? No problem. I will do that for you. You can come to pick it up tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Be sure to pack it well. Other requests. Dialogue 1 Reception, may I help you? I've lost my room key when I went out. Will you open it for me? But do you have another key to your room, the extra key? Oh, sorry, I left in my room. In that case, I can send up the bellboy with a master key. What is your room number? 1205. Where are you? I'm right outside my room. I'll send someone to open the door in a minute. You may wait upstairs now. Dialogue 2 Good evening. Can I help you? Good evening. I'm Li Jing in room 102. I wonder if it is possible for me to extend my stay for two days. I'll take a look at the hotel's booking situation. Yes, I'm glad that we'll be able to accept your extension request. But I'm afraid you have to change rooms for the last two nights. You see, we have already let your room to someone else. Is that okay? Yes, no problem. Let me see. Room 210 will be vacant. How about that room? That is fine. The new occupant will be checking in a little after 12 tomorrow. That means I have to move out before 12. Well, I think I will move at 10.30. Reserving a table. Dialogue 1 Good morning. The Good Boy Restaurant, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to reserve a table for dinner. What time would you like your table, sir? I'm not sure. About 5 o'clock p.m. Okay. How many in your party? A party of four. Then I'll reserve a table for four at 5 p.m., sir. May I have your name, please? Yes. Wang Hong. Thanks. Goodbye. Dialogue 2 I'd like to make a reservation for tonight. For how many people, please? Five adults and two children. For what time, please? About 7.30 this evening. How much do you want to spend? About $20 per person. We'd like to sit together. Okay, and may I have your name? Yes, Jordan. And put us as close as possible to the window, please. I would not be sure, but I'll try my best. Taking a seat. Dialogue 1 Good evening, sir. Welcome to our restaurant. Have you made a reservation? Yes, I have booked a table for four. Here is the reservation list. My name is Dung. We have chosen a window table for you. This way, please. Will this table be all right, sir? Certainly. It's quite good. Thank you. You are welcome, sir. This separate room has a very good view of the city. This room is near the band platform. 
Is it going to be very noisy when the band plays some music? Oh, don't worry, sir. The sound of the music is quite soft. We'll not bring you any inconvenience. Could you stay and listen to it for a while? If you don't like it, I'll find another table for you. Is that okay? That's great. You really give good service indeed. Dialogue 2 My name is Lisa. I made a reservation of table for three. Yes, madam. Would you like a table in the smoking or non-smoking section? In the non-smoking section, please. Come this way, please. Here we are. Oh, it's a nice private room with a beautiful view. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Ordering food. Dialogue 1. Here's your menu. Could you tell us about the specials of the day? We have coconut shrimp, served with rice and a side salad. We also have prime rib, only $8 per person, including salad, choice of potato or rice, and a roll. I think I'll just have your prime rib with rice. Would you like appetizers or a salad to go with that? Yes, I'll take salad. Dialogue 2 Would you like an appetizer to start with? I'd like to try the egg salad. That's good. And then? I'm going to try the oysters florentine. Well, what about the entree? What is this one? Dover sole chablisine. That sole with mushroom and snail butter. That sounds nice. I'll have that. Okay. Hurrying the waiter to serve up. Dialogue 1 Here is the soul salad. Is it yours? Yes, it's ours. And we have ordered another dish. Italian-style fried bacon rolls. It's coming. We have an appointment at noon. Will you tell the cooks to hurry up? Certainly. Thank you very much. Dialogue 2 Excuse me. Yes? Our food seems to be taking a long time, doesn't it? We ordered half an hour ago, but our meal hasn't arrived yet. We have to leave pretty soon. I'm sorry. I'll see what's happened. Thank you. Flight cancellation. Dialogue 1 I need to be in Los Angeles by 12 o'clock, but my flight has been cancelled. What can I do now? We are going to reroute you on a flight departing at 7 with a connection in Chicago and arriving in Los Angeles at 11.30. What about my baggage? Don't worry. Your baggage will be automatically transferred. What time do I reboard the plane in Chicago? The airline personnel there will tell you. Dialogue 2 Do you know any information about flight number 123? I'm sorry. I just don't have any information on flight number 123. What's wrong with it on Earth? I'm almost tired of waiting. Sorry, sir. I've just been informed that that flight has been cancelled. What's the reason? Sorry, the cause is unknown until now. What should I do then? Refund? We can refund you the whole price plus 20% of the ticket price. I have no choice but to refund.
safety inspection. Dialogue 1 Please put your handbag onto the x-ray scanner. Oh sure, here it is. Are you carrying anything metallic in your bag? Oh yes, I forgot my keys was in it. I see. Please go through the detector. Me? Yes. All right, is there anything wrong? No, you're okay now. Dialogue 2 Miss, it's your turn. Please put your handbag onto the x-ray scanner. Oh, sure. Now step through this arch. The arch makes a high-pitched sound. Please step over here, miss. Did I do something wrong? Is everything okay? Don't worry. Are you carrying anything metallic with you? Maybe it's my bracelets. Could be. Please remove them and put them into this plastic container. And step again through the arch. Okay. Now step again through the arch. Like this? That's right. You're okay now. Checking in before boarding. Dialogue 1 May I have your ticket and passport, please? Here they are. Would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? A window seat, if it is available. Let me see if we have. Good. There is only one left. You are so lucky. Thank you for trouble. Dialogue 2 I'd like to check in, please. May I see your passport and ticket, please? Here you are. Excuse me, madam. Do you have any baggage to check? No, I've this shoulder bag only. I see. Here are your ticket, passport, and boarding pass, madam. Your seat is 4D. It's an aisle seat. Thank you. Checking in luggage. Dialogue 1 Should I have my luggage labeled for Houston here? Yes. How many pieces of luggage do you have? We'll have a look through them. I've got three. Here they are. I must have them weighed on the scale. Okay, as you say. Ah, you're overweight for 20 kilos. Do I need to pay more money? Are you a group? Yes. Oh, there is no charge for group traveling. And here are the tags for your traveling bags. Thanks. It will be more convenient to claim our luggage with them. Dialogue 2 I'm sorry, sir. Your bag is overweight. What can I do? Do you want to repack it? I don't have any space to move things to. I'm afraid you'll have to pay an excess weight charge. How much is the excess baggage charge? The rate for excess luggage is $7 per kilogram. You should pay $14 as your bag is overweight for 2 kilos. Okay, here it is. Venice Dialogue 1 We come at the right time. The end of February and beginning of March is a travel off season, but here is a different scene. Yes, look. Venetians are celebrating in the streets. The beautiful music is comforting the enjoying persons. Hurry up. The carnival is coming. Take it easy, honey. Have you made up? Makeup? 
Is it necessary? Certainly. During the traditional Venetian carnival, people would dress up in historical costumes and wear intriguing black masks and aristocratic capes. We should incorporate with the local atmosphere. Okay. Why not make some color on face and change a strange hairstyle? Done. Dialogue 2 Like every tourist location, tourists in Venice must get cameras ready any time. That's true. Could you help me to take a photo here? I like the bridge. In fact, that is one of the attractions in Venice. It indeed has many remarkable structures, such as an impressive array of bronzework, tapestries, and paintings from the 5th to 6th century. Yes, I have noticed a number of them. Very spectacular. It's time for lunch now. Let's find a place to have dinner. Good. Do you have some suggestion? You cannot go wrong with the area surrounding Campo di Santa Margherita in San Polo if you are looking for the upbeat bars and tasty Venice restaurants. Paris Dialogue 1 To see the best, you had better visit the tower gradually. How? You can visit in three stages. First, you can take the elevator to the first landing. There you have a view over the rooftops of Paris. And then you come to the second landing. It provides a panoramic look at the city. The third and final stage gives the most spectacular view. You'd better not go to the top landing directly. I see. What can I see within the tower? There are so many for you to visit. For example, on the third level, you can visit Eiffel's office. In the office, you can see wax figures depicting the engineer receiving Thomas Edison. That's fabulous. Tomorrow morning, I'll get up early and visit it first. Dialogue 2 Ready to go out? Yeah, can you give me some help? You know, I'm going to stay here for three days, and I would like to see the Louvre, the Ark of Triumph, and the Versailles. How should I schedule my time? I think you may go to the Versailles first, because it is in the suburbs of Paris. The other places are not far from the center of the city. I would like to go to see the Eiffel Tower at night. I hear it's very beautiful when the light's on. If you want to get to the top, you have to take the lift. And only from June 14th to August 30th, people can use the stairs till midnight. Now it closes at 6.30. That's good. I'll take the lift. Sydney Dialogue 1 Have you ever been to Sydney before? No, this is the first trip. Could you tell me what to see here? With pleasure. The attractions here are too many. How long will you stay here? A week. So, you can only visit some top attractions, such as the Sydney Opera House, Harbour Bridge. Yes, I've seen them on TV. You'd better arrange a trip to the native Aussie wildlife in the Taronga Zoo and the Sydney Aquarium. Sorry, I can't catch all these names. Can you write down these names for me? With pleasure. Have you got a map of Sydney? No, I really need one. It's available at the newspaper stand over there. Thank you very much. You've been most helpful. Dialogue 2 Wow, what a splendid design it is. Sydney Opera House is one of the biggest buildings on the earth. It has been a cultural symbol of Sydney. Can we enter the house? Certainly. 
Come on. Let's enjoy the spirit and art atmosphere of the Sydney Opera House.